Okay, all right, step four of the barn painting. We'll be doing some more tree details. Now you could spend a lot of time on trees. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and lighten this up just a little bit using some of the sunshine yellow. And you can see how you can put your highlights back in if you've gone too dark with your painting. So it looks like some sun is kind of shining back here. And you can have a tendency to overwork your trees, but um, putting in you know, layers and layers. But you can see how when you kind of touch up the paint underneath, you can really kind of move it around and make adjustments. Um, so I try not to get it too, too thick on here only because you'll end up with a lot of the ridges is the best way to describe it. And you can see where your paint becomes a little thicker. And where your paint becomes a little thicker, it will leave those um, little ridges of, of paint on here. But if you take a little bit of alcohol, you really can make adjustments to those and just kind of blend them right back in. So I'm feeling that the tops of these trees are just a little too blah. <laughs> and you can see where the inks just kind of spread and really um, smoothed out over here. So I wanna add just a little bit more texture to the tops of those. So you can see I put just a little bit of alcohol or you could put a little bit of paint on the very tip of your fine brush and just kind of using a dotting motion to do this, just tapping it in here, little dots and dots. And you can again kind of extend that green over if you don't feel like you got enough in there. Uh, just be careful because you don't wanna lose all of your sky back there. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my colors and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of lettuce in here again. And you can just, you know, make sure you've got your lights and your dark so it looks like you've got uh, some, some sunshine shining back here. And we'll be moving on to our next section here. We'll be doing some uh, foreground details.